To begin, let's go to Edit, Keyboard Shortcuts. At the top of the pop-up, you'll see the Keyboard Layout Preset drop-down. Here you can select to use keyboard shortcuts from an older version of Premiere Pro or a different program that you might be used to like Final Cut Pro. I'm going to stick with the default option. Alright, now let's find a shortcut we'd like to change. If you know what you are looking for, you can use the search bar, but I'm just going to navigate to what I want. Once you find the action you'd like to add a shortcut to, select it. Then click to the right of the action. You should see a box with a blue underline. This means you can enter the key combination you want to use for your new shortcut. I'm going to press Ctrl T for a new title with the default still. Now this is telling me that this shortcut is already in use for just creating a generic title. I'd rather not mess with that so I'm going to click undo. Once more I'm going to click next to the action I want to add a shortcut to. But this time I'm going to press Ctrl Alt T. Alright, this isn't being used so I can go ahead and click OK to confirm my new shortcut. Now when I press the shortcut in Premiere, it works as expected. And that's all there is to it. I hope you found this tutorial useful.